Hi friends, this is Kristen from the Pros and Cons team and today I'm really excited to talk to you about the pros and cons of buying food storage. So um, to start off, I think food storage is really important um, and so one of the pros of having food storage is that it brings peace of mind because there may be times where you can't get to the store or um, due to a natural disaster or something like that, it is good to have food storage on hand. Um, so you have that peace of mind, you're self-reliant because you don't need to worry about where your food is coming from, at least for the X amount of time, however much food storage you have, which is really good. It can also help you learn a new skill. Um, growing up, my family had a lot of fruit trees and we bottled a ton of fruit. And so I learned a lot of skills to create the food storage of like drying fruit, or bottling or making grape juice and all these things and so it's really handy another thing is that you're not constantly needing to run to the store like if you have um, 24 cans of pineapple you're gonna be fine you don't need to run to the store to get pineapple whereas if you're only buying like one or two cans at a time you probably will need to run to the store and get it more often um, when you run out so that's another great thing about food storage Okay, moving on to some of the cons. It can be really expensive up front, um, especially when you're buying canned food. Like if you're bottling, it's a little lot cheaper, but canned food can be really, really expensive. And um, I noticed that there are people that, um, it's like they stock up on food storage, but then never use it. So it could be expensive and then you never use it um, and never rotate it. And so that can be, I'm hard. I've seen um, houses where there's so much food storage that rather than going and trying to find the food, they go to the store and get more of it because it's so disorganized. So that is something. It can be really hard to, to organize and really inconvenient if you have it unorganized. Um, also, it can become an obsession where there you have so much food storage, you're never, ever, ever going to eat through all of it. Um, even if there was a catastrophe, it's like, wow, you have so much food storage. It is like kind of becoming a fixation of your life, um, where that's all you care about is <laughs> emergency preparedness. And it's good to have a lot of food storage, but if you're not rotating and you're just like stocking up and it's becoming almost a burden rather than something that's like, wow, this is a necessity. So these are some of the pros and cons that... I've thought of if there are additional pros and cons that you would like to add please leave them in the comments below and you can check out more pros and cons linked in the description below. I hope you have a great day. Bye!